Quote, a racial slur written on a desk at Collierville High School prompted a school board meeting filled with angry parents this week. The district promising to sit down with concerned parents and offer sensitivity training for students. Tonight, Local 24's Otis Sanford has another idea on how the administration should address the issue. And here's tonight's point of view. In Collierville, the month of August began with a heavily publicized tour, followed a few days later by fancy ribbon cutting for the city's spiffy new $95 million high school. The state-of-the-art facility represents a crowning achievement for the four-year-old Collierville School District and a testament to how much the municipality cherishes a quality education. But less than four weeks later, school leaders are doing damage control after a racial slur was scrawled on a desk in one of the classrooms. Two male students, one white, the other African-American, were deemed responsible for the graffiti and have received unspecified discipline. While it's important not to read too much into the single incident, some parents who attended a school board meeting this week said racial slurs are nothing new at district schools. If that's true, officials from Superintendent John Atkin and school board members down the line to everyone in authority at every school must address this issue head on. And if that means incorporating diversity and racial sensitivity training into the curriculum, as some parents suggested, then so be it. Racial intolerance, including outright hostility, remains far too prevalent in our society. But we must teach our children that this behavior is unacceptable in our schools and everywhere else. Collierville's new high school is impressive inside and out. But the work of building a tolerant culture must continue. And that's my point of view. I'm Otis Sanford for Local 24 News.